welcome to Saturday. Yeah. Today is going to be a somewhat lazy Saturday. Not really lazy Saturday. We've got stuff we got to get done. But um, you can tell by the shirt and the shorts, we're chilling today. <laughs> uh, we got a couple things to do around the house. Head at ET actually just left. She has a wedding to go to. She's going to be driving like three hours there, six hours at the wedding, three hours back. It's going to be a very long day for her, but I wanted to film. Oh my good God. So I wanted to film the review video for this little guy, this center battery. Uh, that's the Hour Moto review I was telling you guys about the other day. But it like dawned on me last night. I was like, wait, Heather's going to a wedding and we only have one like set of cameras. So if Heather's on a wedding, I can't film. Heather took that set of cameras, so I'm like, so I'm just gonna find like tiny things to do around the house today and what I'm thinking, finally make this charging table. I just realized something else I can do today. Drink coffee. I'm just kidding, but I'm gonna show you guys. This is how tired I was after filming the uh, review for the Blackview Hero 1. Haven't even moved anything. <laughs> I took the camera off because I had to prep it for uh, Heather's shoot, but I was like, yep, I'm not moving that. I've got all these parts down here. Like, they're not really big deal parts, they're like grips. Hold on, let's get let's get some light edge going on. So they're not big deal parts, but I've got like bar in mirrors, um spools. I guess I can't really put the gas tank thing on. I guess I could. I could put the gas tank thing on that gas tank. But then when they paint it, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't know, we'll figure that out. Um, also got a bar and mirror. I'm not going to put the stator on yet because Yummy says this is hard to do. So I'm not going to put that stator on the bike. I'm going to get him to help me with that. Bar and mirror, a new brake lever? Yeah, brake lever, why not? So I might put all that stuff on Holly. That way it's just one less thing to do with Holly. Um, that stator cover is supposedly a giant pain in the ass because it's like magnetic and shit. So... We'll see how that goes, but it should be a pretty low-key day, hopefully. If you guys are mechanically inclined at all, so I have this tank, this 2009 R6 tank that's going to go on Holly, uh, and it doesn't have a top, like a cap thing, so that's why I bought this one. Should like If you're a painter, because that's going to have to get painted when I get the new fairings in, is it easier to paint that tank without that cap on it? Or should I just wait to install that after it's painted? Let me know in the comments if I should go ahead and do that. Because if I should, I'll go ahead and do it. If I shouldn't, then I'm, then I'm not. Okay, so that was a slight more pain in the ass than I thought it would be. So, putting hand grips on is a pain. If you spray WD-40, it makes them slip on a little easier. Still a pain though, but these look pretty cool. I got a little, yay. Got a little side wind mirror here and that on. But now I gotta get the brake lever off um, and replace it with the new one. That's the old versus the new right there. I don't see that as being a big deal though. White hand to wars. These things and the red thing, the bar ends. Woohoo! So that went over pretty successful. We got the new got the new brake lever in. Is it gonna focus on the brake lever? Probably not, whatever. Alright, so you watch the um I was playing around with the throttle to see what was going on, and I think this might be too tight because watch. See how slowly it moves back? So this is my throttle, so this is what makes the bike go, obviously, but 
I have a, like if I let it go here, I'll show you. If I loosen this bar end up, my right, bar ends like crazy loose, like probably about to fall off. But watch. So I'm wondering what to do about this because I've used bar. I've had this happen with bar ends before. So what I did was just cut the end off with um, some like plastic or like a knife or something, so that there, it's not touching. But I can't do this because that's it's actually like hard plastic. So if anybody has any ideas to make this not do that, that would be fantastic. Update on the bike thing. So I told you guys I didn't know what to do about it, but what I did was I took Goldilocks, I think it's what I called that knife, and the end part here had a little bit of like a rubber gasket type thingy. So I just cut it off and now I'll show you again. Worked. We're gonna make a charging table. Two power strips. Velcro. And a table. All right, so we have our table here and we've got our power strips. We've got two power strips and the whole point of this table is to make it so it can be easily used to charge stuff. The main things, like, I don't have everything here right now, but I want to add this to it, which is a little GoPro charger. It has to be up like this, so put it like there. I have two of these Canon chargers. This basically charges my DSLRs. You can see that. And then, um, where is, all right, so this is a GoPro charging dock piece that's needed to go with that. This is my Sony battery charger that you, this, that's what this camera uses, that's what Heather's camera uses. So that'll go there. This charges the Centaur battery, this guy. Uh, what else do we need? We'd, oh, I, I know what we'll need. Micro USB. And the good thing about the GoPro charger is it provides two USB ports for charging. So, what we'll do, is that a micro USB as well? Crap. I'm gonna get a mini USB to fit in this guy. So we'll have a micro USB and a mini USB and we'll have that plugged in somewhere and have them stuck on here. So I'm gonna have to go figure out how to attach all this stuff to the table. I've got the Velcro for like the, the power strips and stuff, but I'm thinking I'm gonna need something better to uh, to hold the cabling on. Ooh, I forgot about these things. I don't know if you guys have seen these things, but they're little, they're basically little cable ties and they have like sticky stuff on the bottom so you can stick it there and the cable will pop out. <laughs> Alrighty people, so status update on the charging table. There's a lot of cables. So, I've got my GoPro charger, I've got the Canon charger, I'm gonna put the other Canon charger right here. Then, yeah, this is just everywhere. I've got these little guys, and my mentality is to, I've got six, or I've got three micro, mini USBs, and then I've got three micro USBs. So I think I'm gonna do two cables per uh, sticky thing, and I'm gonna stick all three of them right here and have this like open area right here for like a phone or a GoPro or a tablet or whatever wants to go there. Well, we're gonna have plenty of space here on the top to extend this even farther. And right now I've got two, the two uh, surge protectors down here. I don't know, phone, calm. I don't know if this USB is connected. Th th this thing is plugged into this GoPro power wall thing. I don't know if this one cable will put enough juice in this guy to power three, uh, three of these. We'll find out. And then I've got, this guy that actually plugs in right here, and it's got a two charging ports on the side. It's not really, yeah, two charging ports on the side. These I can't even use to charge. If I'm gonna seriously use this thing, I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll probably take this guy off and buy a USB charging dock that plugs in, and then I'll just plug that guy into the, 
the surge protectors, but so far, so far this is looking pretty cool. Now that it's going to be organized, it's crazy how much extra space it has now because of the, uh, because of the organization, so. Carrying on, my wait, what's up? Someone just like you, just like you. Alright guys, so check the table out. Um, I'm about to be testing all of my micro USB cables with my phone, but uh, the GoPro charger works. You can see that the um, this charger works with I think this is for a uh, a battery powered light source. My Sony charger works for this little camera. Uh, I can grab this and show you guys. So he's working. I don't have any Canon batteries to test right now, so I can't test that guy, but whenever he whenever Heather gets back tonight, I'll add the other Canon, uh, this, to here. And I think what'll be the best is use the bottom area for batteries that need to be charged, and then batteries up here are fully charged and ready to go, because so, it'll be quicker to just grab them. But, uh... Yeah, so far, if everything works out, this should be freaking awesome. Look how neat that looks as compared to what it did look like. I'm going to call that a freaking major success. As long as the micro USB cables work. Alright, so I just grabbed a GoPro real quick because I remembered that uh, the little red light will come on. And just checked all the mini USBs, micro USBs, everything is working. Woohoo! So now I just need a couple more of the chargers, like the Canon charger, and we've got a charging table, y'all. Holy crap, today is productive. I just keep killing it today. So C202 videos edited. Had to do some stuff for our moto. That didn't take very long. But now I remembered the other day that I went riding on the supermoto. So here's what the rear tail like turn signal should look like. And the other one fell off, and I realized, like, oh, well, I'm missing a freaking screw. So, I forgot the screw down there, and I was trying to mess with it underneath here. But, man, there's no way to get to that little thing. So, I'm going to have to take the whole damn seat off so that I can take the rear fairing off so I can get to that thing. So, I figured in my day of rocking shit out, why not just kill that, too? Find that someone, find that someone, someone just like you. So we've got it uh, drilled, not drilled, so we've got it screwed back on now. The amount of work you have to do just to get to these little lights is so stupid. Seat's got to come off, rear fairing's got to come off just so you can angle it up enough to get up in there. And now it's for the fun part of all motorcycle maintenance. Putting it back together. Can we just like click? Oh, that it, like doesn't work like that in real life. T is good to go. I'm running out of stuff to do today, y'all. This is what happens when Head of DT leaves me at the house and there's stuff to do because I'm like, Heather's not here to do stuff with. I could edit, but I edit all week. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna do random stuff. So now my two options are either edit Monday's video or go stream. I think we're going to go stream. And that is the end of a stream. I played video games for like four hours. It was good times. Alrighty dudes and dudettes. Hold on, you're not going to be able to see anything. Will I be lit by my own screen? That'd be cool. Let's see if I can make that happen. Being lit by your own screen. There it is. How's it going, guys? All right, people. So it is late. Head of DT is going to be home soon. Thank God. A lot has been gotten done today. A lot of games have been played. It's been a good day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Work hard, be positive. Don't play too many video games. Bye. Just like you. Just like you. Wish you could find that someone, find that someone, find that someone.